Hey guys, it's Miss Wofford. We're going to get into rhythm sheet number 13 today. And as you look at it, you might notice that there's a bunch of empty measures. And the, what we're going to do in that is some rhythmic dictation. So I am going to play a rhythm for you on flute, and then you're going to have to write it down. So we're going to start with line A, measure one. So as you see in measure one, it is a 2-4 measure. So I'm going to play that for you. And all you need to do is write down the rhythm. One, two, one. <gasps> so write down the rhythm that I played in measure one. I'm gonna do measure one again. One, two, and one, and. <gasps> all right, write down what you got in line, or measure one. I'm gonna write it down so I can remember it. And then as you look at the second measure of line A, you'll notice there is no time signature in that measure. I want you to look at the number of beats in that measure and decide what the time signature is and write that in in measure two. In the third measure of line A, you have a blank measure again. So I'm gonna play and you should dictate that. That just means write down the rhythm, listen, and then write down what you hear. Here we go. One, two, and measure three, and <gasps> All right, so again, I'm gonna play that two, four measure. This is measure three of line A. One, two, and one, and <gasps> Write that down. All right, look on to measure four. There is no time signature and you have a little space right there. So look at measure four and decide what your time signature is there and write that in. And then look at the final measure of line A, count the number of beats and then write it in. You um, need to decide if it has a new time signature or if it stays the same. Now that we've gotten the blanks filled in and the time signatures added, I want you to go in and write the rhythm. I'm going to give you a second to do that. Now that you've gotten those written in, we're going to do those together and we're going to check your dictation. Okay guys, now we are on sheet 13. Looking at measure one, I wrote in two quarter notes. Okay, that's what I played. So we're going to have one little and with a line, two little and with a line. In the next measure, you did not have this time signature here. What I did is I looked at the rhythm. We have one beat, two beats, and three beats. That tells me that we're in three, four time. So I wrote in that time signature of three, four. One, and, two, and, three, little and with a line through it. This next measure was blank for you, but it gave you your time signature. And the counts for that was one, two, and, oh, got to do my little and with a line. Excellent. So in this measure here, we had to figure out the time signature. And I did that by counting the beats. Here's beat one, here's all of beat two, here is beat three, and here is beat four. Let's write in those counts. Big one, little and with a line, two, and, big three, little and with a line, big four, little and with a line. This last measure, we did not need to do anything to it. It has four beats. Here's one and a half. Here's the second half of two. And then here's all of beat three and beat four. Let's get that written in. Big one, little and, little two with a line through it because the dot adds half of that quarter note, which is an eighth note back to it. So the second half of that two is called and. And then we have big three, little and, little four, little and with a line. All right. There was a lot of detective work to do in that one. Let's chop it and count it now. These time signatures change on us almost constantly. So be ready for the next beat. If you get a two, you gotta be ready for one. Here we go. Chop, chop, and count, and ready, go. One, two, one, and two, and three, one, two, and one, two, and three, four, one, and three.
Let's do that one more time. It was even weird for me. The beginning of those measures can be kind of weird. One more time. Hold out the quarter notes. One, two, one, and two, and three. One, two, and one, two, and three, four. One, and three. All right, guys. Job on the first day of this sheet number 13. It's a new one. I think it's fun. You get to do something a little bit um, new. So, all right. See you guys tomorrow.